Welcome back to the baby. Happy, I almost said happy birthday. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Welcome back to the basement. I almost said happy <laughs> Whose birthday. Is it my birthday? Oh, God hey. damn it. I'm losing it. No, Who's, yeah. Do you know anyone's birthday? Today? No, I fucking, I don't know. To- no one's born today. There's That's a fact. That's not true. There's celebrities born today. No. Let's look it up. Who? Give me if like, who's a celebrity that was born today? You'd be like, yo, this is dope. This is a dope celebrity born today. Literally, no. I don't care. You don't care at all. No. Oh man. I do share a birthday with Ric Flair though. And George Washington was a Pisces. What does that mean? I don't know. (laughs) Why? Why do you say that? Like you know anything about like all those like fucking like (laughs) astrological signs? Born today, Alice Braga. Nope. Actress. She's uh she is the queen of the south. You know that show? That's Antonio Banderas. We had yes. Emma Watson, Hermione, oh. Hermione. Happy birthday, Hermione! Nice. Luke Evans. Who's that? He's British. He played Gaston in the live action. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I know that well. The, the live action fucking. It, I'm, I thought you said no it's... one eats like Gaston. Seth Rogen. There oh. we go. Emma Thompson, British weird. Maisie Williams. Oh, I like her. I like her too. That's Aria. Oh, you're stuck. Yeah. Uh, All right, I don't care. Yeah, this nobody is done. else. This is, nobody this else is, that cool. This is stupid. Let's oh. talk about your hat. Let's talk about your hat. Oh, you really want to go for it? Yeah, I like your hat. Thank you. Do kind of. Oh, this is another one of those shirts where I, I like it starts as white, but then when you stare at it, it turns a different color. Well, kind of. I'm not even gonna even tell you. It might be white. It's like light blue. I don't know. Actually, I think it's white. I don't it's know. Light, it's light blue. I no. bought it light blue. I oh, dude. You, you want to try the hat on, try, dude? No, I don't. It was a gift, too. So, I, like, the fact that, like, I can't buy something that you like. I'm wearing clothes that I, like, bought, were not bought for, like, they were bought for me or given to me. Sweet. Shoes were Danny's. Nice. Hat was given to me. And shirt uh, you found. <laughs> if I tell you I did actually buy this, would you believe me? It's a fucking t-shirt. Oh, I don't, I don't know. You're, you seem, you're very muted with your color style, I've noticed. You're not a big flashy color guy. You're 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 gray. I like pops. White. I like pops. You like yeah, like your shirt right now. Nice little pop. That's it. Well, you know, uh, Target. And I paid for this. Oh, and I paid for you, it. You, you didn't walk I didn't out steal it. I didn't steal it. I did pay for this, so I just want to. Good for to you. That. You know what else you could pay for? Patreon.com slash the basement yard, where you can get every single weekly episode a week in advance. I'm getting good at this, right? And then yep. you get exclusive content every single Friday morning. Start your weekend off with a little horniness. By going to patreon.com slash the base video it's good it's great um all right so let's just cut to the chase here uh i've been wanting to share this with you for over a week you've been telling me about this i yeah, had a for, dream yeah and then you were like yo i need to tell you but i w- wait until the show because it's so funny okay and like i i really don't do this like on purpose it's not a bit it's really something that i've done like multiple times in my life but sometimes i'll have a dream that was so funny to me that when I wake up, I want to write it down, but mm-hmm. I'm still like sleeping, so I'm not really like you're, that. You're you're like incoherent. Yeah, I'm like not that functional yet. Lights are on, no one's home. So I and I'm still kind of like I could fall asleep if I close my eyes. So I try to just write it like shorthand, I guess it's called, and like mm-hmm. just put like keywords so I remember the dream. Okay. <laughs> this is the dream. Okay. And this is what I wrote, right? And I wrote it in separate lines too, like this. Go line by line. We're going to try to decipher what this dream was. Okay. And I, 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 and I promise this wasn't, I didn't, I didn't make this up because I thought it'd be a funny bit for the podcast. This is actually my dream. There's only, <laughs> okay. First line, pooping period. Oh, that's, you got to be careful. You're using the body, your bodily functions in your sleep. You do that in real life. Uh, Every time I've peed. I have never that. What? Every time I've peed the bed, it's because in my dream, I imagine I'm peeing. How many times have you peed the bed? Like a long time ago, but quite quite a bit. What's a long time? A couple months? No, no, no. I haven't peed my I haven't peed the bed in years. Years is also not that long. Uh, yes, it is. Two years? Twenty six years. That's still years. Yeah, yeah. But how long? Honestly, you piss your bed in your twenties. Honestly, not like a full on letting go, like a little dribble drab. But how much is a drip? How many teaspoons a, or pints? I would uh, pints. If you if that's you had lot, Joey. if you had to put it in fluid ounces, I would say like honestly like maybe a tablespoon. And then I'm and then I wake up like I was peeing in my dream. I peed right here. And like is a tablespoon bigger than a teaspoon? I get those spoons mixed yes, up. Tables are bigger than teas. That's a fact. Not fake teas though. No, not some fake. people got big old fake teas. There's there's a couple tablespoons in that one. Oh uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so the first one, <laughs> the first one is. Uh, pooping. Period. Yeah, yeah. Next line. 
bro Keith with me in the room, period. Uh, okay, that seems pretty straightforward so far. Bro Keith, my brother Keith, was in the room with me while I was pooping. Uh, and that, okay, pretty straightforward. Now here's where it starts to get sleepy. Um, and I don't really know what's going on. Okay. Sit standing in the toilet uh-huh. like a gargoyle. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what sit standing is. I think it's 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 the infamous Keith sit. Well, I think well this well I remember the dream. The Keith crouch. But I don't know why I said sit standing. But it's kind of like like a gargoyle would be perched. The I Keith, was perched. The Keith crouch. A so, lot of people don't know what that means, but it's a Keith crouch. So, then this is one line. Black poop. Period. Keith. Said it smelled like dad's van. <laughs> That's the whole next okay, line. Okay, okay. The next line is, laugh so hard and I couldn't stop shitting. This seems like, you're walking me through. This is pretty good so far. This is the last line. This, I don't know how it plays into this at all. Uh-huh. It just says, bird bath. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember how a bird bath came into it, but it was written there. Okay. But I remember the rest of it. All right. I mean, you're... So you're, basically this dream, right? So that's how I, uh, I so worded th- it. This is what I am taking from it. And tell Get, me if I'm accurate here. Got it. You were in a room with Keith and you're, you're shitting, but as you're crouched like a gargoyle, mm-hmm. either in or above the toilet. Imagine... Si- <laughs> okay. In the toilet. And then Keith said, hey, this smells like dad's van, and it makes you laugh, and you couldn't stop shitting. And then you cleaned yourself off in a bird bath? I'm not sure where that bird bath comes in. I don't remember any, uh, you know, bathing like a bird during the stream, but I do know that uh, this is kind of based on, like, actual events. Uh, not the black poop part, because that's concerning. Um, also, I don't think I've ever shit and went, this smells like my dad's old van. Or when was, have you shit and had your brother in the room with you? So I, I'm I'm glad you asked that question. The, no, the only answer is no. I'm glad you asked that oh, question man. because that means that you don't know that I used to do that all the time, like as a baby. No, like as like a two year old. What, dude? Sixteen? Uh, that's a little old. For, for Thirteen. Now we're getting warm. What? Yeah, yeah. You would shit in the room with your brother. So here's what would happen, right? There would be time, and we would switch. Not switch, like in the middle. No, no, no. <laughs> God. When we were growing up, me and my brother used to take shits together, but not to not like together on the same bowl. Like if I had to shit, I'd just be sitting there and I'd be shitting. And then he would sit across from me on the tub. Because you remember there was a tub across I, from me? I the, remember the tub. So he would sit on the ledge and he would we would just like look at each other and then I'd be shitting and like we would die laughing when there were farts and also when you hear the poop hit the water. We would laugh our asses off. Schlep punk. Yeah, exactly. And then sometimes you'd like poop and it's like <laughs> and then we'd die. <laughs> We would die laughing. And we used to do this all the time, dude. Yo. All the time. It's weird, dude. Oh, yeah. This is weird, man. Why would you guys just be, like, hanging out with each other while you're pooping? I think that we just really enjoyed the fart noises. So, Keith is, like, 30 years older than us. So, if you were 13, he was... Nah, I probably wasn't... I, I Honestly, it was probably, like, realistically around when we were, like, 7, 8. But that's still too old. Yeah, yeah, we were tandem yeah, shitting, yeah. laughing at farts. Did you at least flush in between? Because that would be, I don't know why, that's the most uncomfortable part of this. What do you mean? Is like if you go to the bathroom and then you get up and you don't flush and then he goes on top oh, of it. Oh, no, that didn't happen. Okay, that would make me very uncomfortable. No, no, I don't no. know why. No, that would make me uncomfortable too. Just, I mean, probably not back then. Clearly, this, <laughs> it was the Wild West back then. There was no rules. Yeah, you were fucking... We were shitting in teams. Firing them off in front of each other. Yeah, um, we would pee into the same bowl all the time. Oh, well, that I feel like is less weird as, yeah, as yeah. siblings. I guess. You know, at, were you at least, were you across from each other peeing into the same bowl or like? No, no, no. You guys, you get pissed on that way. No, what do you mean? You, you don't know how to fucking you, aim? You, I mean, it's just you're in the line of fire. No, you aim down. I know, but you got to stand next to the person and, and pee into the same bowl. So you were standing directly. So you basically hip to hip. Wow, we could have been we could have been Siamese twins. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's what we would do. So if you were, wow, that's that's not, well, one of it would be like six o'clock and four o'clock. I think I always like to stand at like four o'clock. I get, I get you. I guess you. That's, do you that's, let me ask you a question. I don't. What? Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't do. <laughs> no, like when you pee, right? Mm, yeah. Do you pee 
like in line with the toilet or are you staggered? Uh, it depends. I, I, I don't, I don't really like pay attention that much. Sometimes I'm a little staggered. I never go f- full on. I have a problem and I'm very well aware that this is a problem and I'm full on ready to talk about it and maybe work through it. I can't just I have an issue, and I don't know if it's just because I grew up in New York City, but, like, I always need to be multitasking to some degree. So, when I'm peeing, I'm trying to do other things. What the hell are you talking about? (laughs) So, I have peed and, like, thrown away my gum. I've peed and, like, picked something up off the floor. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. You peed and dropped... Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll pee. I always do this. I I always play a little game. Where midstream, I flush the toilet and I see what finishes first. Oh, I, I try to do that. The pee my I, But I, I'm not good at it, so I stopped doing it. I've gotten it down to a pretty pretty good science. I, I've had to double flush because of that many times. There's that point in the pee where you start and it's like hot. Hot and he- not like hot on the se- like sensation yeah, not, wise. Not, not temperature. Not temperature wise. But like the flow is good. Yeah. You still got a good girthy pee pee in your yeah. hands. Whoa. And then, you know what I'm talking about. Well, yours just fills up like a balloon when you got to piss. Doesn't yours? No. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the list of things I got to tell my doctor. <laughs> Wait, so your dick shrinks and just gets like a balloon? Well, it gets, it's, it's, it's just like. It's, 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 you know. When I hold a, or if I drink mad water, my dick get, holds water weight. That's, thank you. Okay, okay. Because I don't pee. People, I, like, I also struggle with the idea of, like, when do you realize you have to pee? Like, when it's too late or, like, when you're just like, I could pee right now. I think when some starts spilling out of the bladder. When, when it gets, when your bladder gets full and you're, and you're like, okay, I, what, I should probably empty. I, I play, like, the edging game, you know, where I, I let go and if a little more comes out than I would think, then that's when I know it's time to go. Like when it's like really close. Oh, I, I don't know what you're, what, what did you just say? <laughs> the edging game with pee pee. Wait, so, so you, you, you let you, a little pee out? You, you, you go to like, you release, cause you can't just pee yourself. It's like a thing. Our bodies know how to not pee themselves, not how to pee themselves. And so you actively need to untense your muscles. So I'll untense my muscles. And if a little beat it up, then I'll be like, now it's time to pee. But if it's just like, there's no like time before that. You, you know? don't just have this feeling that you got to pee? I wait until the last minute. So what you're telling me is that you've urinated. There's been some trace amounts of urine in all of your underwear. Every single one. Gotcha. Every. Now we have an understanding. If I'm letting you know, if I'm peeing, like if I'm going to pee, you've witnessed a little pre-pee. Yeah. <laughs> Can you, can someone explain, like, I don't know if people know this, but your dick plays tricks on you. At least mine does. Where it's like, I go take a piss, right? And I stand there and I really empty this penis with all this pee, right? And then it gets in there and then like, there's no drip. I'm getting it out. Everything's done and I'm good. And then I pull my pants up and all of a sudden I'm like, I can feel this running down my leg. Yeah. Yeah. Where's this extra piss? Listen, whoever made that rule more than two shakes, you're playing with it. Had a very efficient pee-pee. Yeah, dude, I gotta shake this thing around like a fucking Sh- like an old wife shake. I milk my dick in public sometimes to get all the pee out. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you gotta like fuck it. <laughs> That's like you gotta like throw it out. Listen, have you ever tried to get the last bit of toothpaste out of a toothpaste thing? And you like roll it up. Yeah, I've done that. That's what you have to do. It's insane. I haven't done that. I've not rolled up my penis in public. Well, in private. Let me ask you a question. Here we go. No, 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 let's go. Me, come on. Let's go again. Let me ask you this question. Yeah. Hold on. Welcome back. Have you ever taken the skin of your balls yes. and put it completely over your dick uh, and then just made this like mound of like, you're like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've done that. Oh, yeah. I've done that. Because, I mean, full disclosure, my, my dick's not 10 inches long, so <laughs> I could I could play games like yeah. this. Joey but, didn't get that gene. Everyone else in his family did. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell ya. you. I, but I, sometimes, not all the time, because sometimes my ball skin has is a little more taut. Uh, but yeah. when, when it's nice and like, you know, the weather's good and it's a full moon, then I can take the skin of my balls yeah. and just wrap it over yeah. everything. Yeah. And then it just looks like one big oh, ball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You go for it, baby. <laughs> you gotta. Absolutely. I got mad Dick tricks that I do. Yeah, what other dick tricks? I mean, you do all the ones from waiting, I assume. You do the, the trampoline and all that. Oh, yeah, with like water in, yeah. your, in your ball sack. Wait, water? Yeah, like a little bird bath. You've you talked this. about this. You've talked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, what's the trampoline? You never watched that movie Waiting? I have, but I forget. Where you stretch the sack out and you just 
bounce your PP on top of it. Oh, uh, oh, I haven't done that. Give it a shot. Go, 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 go do it right. Go do it right now. I'm not gonna do it right now. Why not? Because my balls aren't in the right. Yeah, mine are a little like they know, like they they, they have a mind of their own, and they're like, when when you're recording, we're just gonna. I'm not even here. I'm, I'm not, not even here. Pretend <laughs> I'm, not, pretend I'm not even here. I'm not even. Pretend <laughs> I'm gone. Oh God, uh-huh. not yet. That's a that's quite the dream though, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so me and my brother we used to shit. I sometimes I'd be on the tub listening to him shitting. I, Keith, yo, Keith as a kid for some reason would take the biggest shits. Like they would be like snakes. Really? Yeah, oh. but and you know who else was like that? Editor of the show, Josh. Take big old snake. Oh, he has you snakey know, poops. You don't remember? He would always Oh, Josh, everyone ha- every friend has this friend group. All right? Every friend group has this friend. There you go. There it is. <laughs> that one person overshares in the group chat. And, he sh- and then his shits. And and a lot of the times it's the poop. And that was Josh. Josh would on like a daily basis send pictures of his poop. He was very healthy apparently because I guess not. No, I mean though, if you have a poop that snakes out of the water, it's disgusting, but also kind of impressive. Uh, I I am. You more, ever get a long poop? I am becoming more and more understanding of the fact that I <laughs> I am I am an anomaly when it comes to like potty humor and bathroom like stuff like. I hate it. Yeah, I know. I hate it. I'm not, but I'm serious. I'm not. This is. Oh, no I know. I know you're serious. No jokey joke. I I'm, know. I'm, you know, for cereal. I know you're a cereal right now. I'm. That's that's the part that upsets me the most. Is like, I wish you were joking. You've never taken like a long poop and like in the middle of it, you're like, this is kind of long. I gotta make sure I don't clip it. So you kind of like let it. <laughs> <laughs> I got strategies, dude. How do you fucking what? Other, what other? What's your other strat? What's your other approach to to poop? No, I mean some people like they don't care about the size of their poop, and like I don't really. Are you a are you a bring uh, are you a bring the book into the bathroom? No, no, I get in. Just on the there. phone. Uh, no, I, yeah, on the phone. But I get in and out of there. Okay, but, I'd love to know your rules for for your 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 approach to the more efficient poop. No, it's just you could tell at a certain point that you're like this one has potential here. Did you piss yourself? No, no, no. This bulge looks awesome in these pants right now. Can I see it? Yeah, you got a big old Ricky Martin cock over there. Does he have a big dick? I, I assume. I don't know why. I, when I think of Ricky Martin, I think of fat dick. I'm not... This is a good... This is a healthy... <laughs> you know Ricky Martin follows me on Twitter, right? Does he? Yeah, he doesn't follow a lot of people either. Oh, I, was, I thought it was going to be like Tay Diggs. I got followed by Tay Diggs once. It was like, awesome! And it was like, he follows like half a million people. I was like, yo, this sucks. No, well, I have to check now if you see if he still follows. What other like famous people follow you that we can get on the show? Ricky Martin. He follows four hundred thirty-two people on one of them. What? Twenty million followers. What? Ricky Martin, dude. Dude, Ricky, let me see him. He still got it. His picture is of his back, but that's a nice back. That's a pretty good back. This is a solid back. That's a pretty good back. Still just a smoky mess. Let me see. Let me see. Updated. Damn. It's the same. First of all, you know he's gay, right? Majorly gay, a uh, big, big time. I think he has he has adopted children. Oh, but the the only thing though is that in this, first of all, the fit, white denim, bring it back. <laughs> he looks like a Spanish Don Don Junior. Don Junior. Yeah, Donald Trump Junior. Oh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, you see it, right? Yeah. Is he like, still living La Vida Loca? Is he still like out there performing? Yeah, I mean, he's Ricky Martin. He's got two songs I know of. Living La Vida Loca and She Bangs. Yeah. No, there's another one. What's that Ricky Martin song that's like fucking awesome? Living La Vida Loca? Well, yeah. That song is so fucking good. Bam, 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 bam. Those horns hit harder than most things. Like, dude, dude. Outside in New York City. Da, 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 she da, poked da. him. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. She goes dancing in the rain. That's such a good song. She made me take her clothes off and go dancing in the rain. Something with a bullet to your brain. Once you have a taste of her, it'll make you go insane. Like a bullet to your brain. Come on! Ah! Dude, that song slaps oh. so fucking hard. Jesus Christmas. How do we get here? Pooping to Ricky Martin. Pooping to Rick. Speaking fat of fat penises. Oh, but yeah, well, that's how. Yeah. Speaking of fat penises, probably. Uh, you heard about this Usher thing. Which one? 
where he's just throwing fake dollar bills at strippers. Oh yeah, yeah. He threw Usher dollars at. He him. threw Usher dollars. I mean, listen for the right for the right price. Those are collectors' items, man. Take it from a collector. Pretty soon, one day. Okay. No, they're worthless. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. And isn't that also illegal? To do what? To like fake money. <laughs> Yeah, it is well, right. I I read into that story, and apparently, like he did throw like actual money in there. Yeah, but then he like threw these like usher dollars at the end to like promote his next album. What a way! Yeah, I, I would have thought about that for like maybe three more seconds. This it's just that's a weird place to promote your album. Like if you're gonna promote your album anywhere, throw usher dollars off of a fucking building in Miami or something like where there's a lot of people. Not a, not a lot of people at the strip club, I assume nowadays. Do you assume wrong? Really, dude? People love butts. People need to get their titty on. Yeah, people love bouncing butts. I don't think the butts is why they go to the strip club, Joe. Butts? You can see the butts on the TV. They go for the butts. What do you think they go for? The boob? <laughs> Hold on. You think people go to strip clubs for butts and not boobs? Yeah, butts. No. Big fat butts on. No. You. Oh wait, no. Uh, 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 you don't think the butt uh, is more? Uh, 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 the butt. No, no, no. Listen, shut up. Shut up. The butt. Shut up. Just shut the fuck up. I didn't say anything about physical contact. I didn't say anything about physical contact. But if you're going to view something at a strip club, you think you're going to view butts or you're going to view boobs? Bouncing butts. I think that you. Pull. I do listen. Love a good boob, but you go to strip clubs for the butts. On 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 the base for New Yard Instagram, put a poll. What do, if you were to go to a strip club? If you were, what is the reason? That's the question. To what go to it? a strip club? Yeah. To see one eyed. If you had to a pick nude a thing. man or woman. Yeah. I, yo, what does a dude strip club look like? Do they have polls? Do they do poll stuff? I've never pull it up on your phone. I'm sure we could find something. Well, I'll probably find all, only that. That there's that porno where the guy wears like a bear head and fucks women. Wait, what? You never heard? <laughs> <laughs> what? There's like a porn thing where it's like it's like a male strip club, and there's a bunch of women around like yes, 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 and then there's a guy with a with a bear head, and then he takes it off, and eventually like random women suck him, and he fucks one of them, and then we go home. Oh wait, you went? No, we go home like we we end the video. You end the video because you, you go home like in wrestling. Like, all right, let's take it home, yeah, let's boys. Let's go home. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that like a real place? Um, I I don't think so. I imagine that does have. I don't know. I've never been to obviously. I've never been to a male strip club, but I assume that the women that go there or men that go there, uh, no judge or whatever gender you identify as, that choose to go to a male strip club. I assume they're going for the dick, not the butt. Uh, well, yeah, and also just the bot. The, uh, so the then, body. what's the difference? Big butts. What's the difference between a male strip club and a female strip club? If you go to, a, if you're looking to go to a male strip club, you're going for the for the cock. If you're going well, to a yeah. female strip club, well, there's nothing to choose from. You're going for the 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 female equivalent of a cock is boobs. Well, it's more vagina. But like, I don't think anyone's going for vagina though. Men don't have vaginas though, except their asshole. Yeah, but I'm saying that would be the equivalent. The penis is is fair. Uh, that's an argument for another time. Yeah, but <laughs> let me so, ask you a question. Also, yeah, do you think that the asshole on a man and the asshole on a woman is equidistant to their genital? Is e I don't know if e that's did you say equidistant? Yes. What the fuck was that? Isn't that like do you? Th I think is that if that's a real word, I'm gonna apologize. But as of right now, it's not. So you're an idiot. Oh, it's definitely a word. I just don't know the definition of equidistant. It. Like equally dis distant. So why don't you say are they equally distant? Because I'm trying to let people know that I know words. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but do you think uh, it's a different? I think I think that the vagina and and asshole on a woman's extremely close. Well, they say it's like an inch. It's like a, a half inch apart, right? Except, or an inch? Uh, the I've, opening. I've never measured the opening of what? What's oh, now? We got to Google this. What's the average distance between a vagina and? I don't think that would be on Google. Uh, you don't Google enough, my friend. Well, clearly you don't. You don't even know about dancing bear porn. Uh, well, that's a porn thing, Joey. <laughs> average <laughs> distance between. I love how it thinks like I'm gonna like look up something smart like average distance between galaxies <laughs> between New York and Miami. <laughs> nope. Between galaxies. vagina and anus. Oh. I was gonna put butthole, but that's not the proper term. The mean. Remember now we're that. talking about math. 
The standard deviation length of perineum was 0.9 centimeters. The mean anal position index was 0.49. Nothing you're saying is meaning things to me. Find the mode in the range. Okay. Those were easier. <laughs> Um, there's, uh, the results show that the space from the posterior wall of the vagina to the anterior wall of the rectum is, uh, but the that's middle probably... level was, dude, they're, I gotta be honest. They're throwing out a lot of numbers. They're throwing out millimeters here. Uh, someone's looked too far into this. We just wanted a, a jokey joke answer. I know. I wish they would just give me a funny answer. Just I, like I think half I'm inch. right though. I think I'm half right. inch. Um, I'm definitely right. Cause the vagina, it curls. It's different for each <laughs> <laughs> It's it's different for each person, for each p- woman or a person that has a vagina. Ah, it's so, so the, tough with these, you know, like I don't know what to say anymore. With women? The mean anal position index with a short perineum. Frank, put it you never know when to put it down. Like I, I, you should have quit five minutes ago. I should have, you're right. It's I would assume that well, it's the vaginas are closer to the assholes than the balls are close. Yeah. That's all I need. You were throwing out decimals to me, like I'm gonna fucking be able to decipher. <laughs> I, that. I thought you would. I thought you would. I can't. I can't do simple math without writing it down. That's fair. That's fair. But, um, yeah. So Usher's throwing these dollars. Bad marketing move on his ploy because well, it was instantly taken as like these are people. And he was at a female strip club, uh, 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 you know, and it, it was taken out of context. I he might have been trying to market it, but like, hey, if there are working people on that stage, don't throw fake money at them. <laughs> Yeah. You know? Yeah. Give them a healthy tip and then, you know, like afterward be like, yo, by the way, it's me, Usher. I'm trying to promote my new album. Why are you talking like that? Like this Michael Usher. Jackson. Kinda. This is Usher. I'm trying to promote my new album. Here's some Usher bucks. Yeah. Uh, maybe just a heads up from Usher would have been like fine. But I don't think he gave them that. So. Yo, how mad would you be if you were a stripper? If you were a male stripper and someone's throwing fake money at you, like who's the female equivalent of Usher? Rihanna. She can't dance though. Can't she? That was a big fucking claim that you just made. I've never seen Rihanna's not known for dancing. No, Rihanna can move those fucking hips. She baby. can move the hips, but she's not a known dancer. Usher is. Oh, a she's t- not gonna like hip hop dance. Sierra. This beat is automatic, supersonic, <laughs> hypnotic. Funky fresh. Yeah, she could dance her fucking ass off. Yeah. Do you remember when everyone thought she was a guy? Yeah, what was that? She was like a hermaphrodite or something at some point? I don't think that's a, a socially accepted term anymore. Really? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm saying That's it. the only term that I know. I, I will not... Uh, the person will rename, uh, remain nameless, but I was streaming on Twitch not long ago, and someone just full-on let out, like, a called someone a tranny. I was like, oh. <laughs> is tranny offensive? I think it is an offensive term now. Yeah. Why? I think it's it's just like it's it's just like a it, it it had a negative connotation to it and like it was given like a social stigma stigmatization. And yeah, but so was gay. But you're gay. Yeah, but I think not you. But, like, but the term isn't like the term is transitioning. I don't I don't know. But it was no. it was just funny. It was funny. I mean, but uh, yeah, remember everyone was like, "Yo, Sierra's a man." What's, you, what's you, a you transvestite? Like, I don't know. I don't know all these these things now, Joey. Transvestite, I, like that was the one. I feel like that was the first one I knew. Transgender is like a new one. That's that new. I like just learned. Like, not just learned. You want me to learning. Google transvestite? What it means? You're big on the phone today. I mean, I I, I like guessing. Okay, so guess, and I'll tell you if transvestite, you're right. Transvestite, honestly, sounds like clothing. Honestly, like a vest. That's, 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 that's like a tight a, vest. A slim fitting that's vest. That's a tight vest. <laughs> a transvestite. A okay. reversible vest that is slim fit. Uh, so a transvestite <laughs> is a transvestite. Yo, is you're a, actually, you're actually a transvestite is a reversible vest that is slim fitting. Yeah, that's what it is. Transvestite. Tight. <laughs> you're yo, you're actually like pretty on the nose. What is it? It's a person who dresses in clothes primarily associated with the opposite sex. I thought that was metrosexual. No, metrosexual is like they're like super hyper like into their fashion and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, but this is okay, so this would be like cross dressing. Yes, 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 okay, yes. Okay. Where transgender is people people that are transitioning gotcha. between the gender. Well, to be honest, that's probably uh, then I have some clarity now, but that makes like, that makes sense. You you were pretty good on with the clothes though. That's, <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I like the best one. That that's pretty funny. close. Um, what the fuck are we talking about? We got to Usher. Oh, Sierra. 
Sierra. Sierra? 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 I don't know. Oh, but anyway, that is, that is a beautiful woman. I remember in like 2006, it was like, oh, you think she's good looking? She's a guy. And I'd be like, dude, I'll suck her then. Oh, yeah? Dude, I, she's beautiful. I remember internally having that debate. Like, yo, Sierra is hypnotic, funky, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think... I've been told she might be a guy. I do want those goodies. I was like, where do I stand here? <laughs> like, I remember that and remember Olivia from fucking G-Unit. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't remember? They, the rumor was this, that her and Sierra were also men. I no. You don't remember Olivia? I, I honestly don't know who that is. You don't remember Olivia? Oh, here from goes. Fucking, fucking fucking damn right I have, baby. <laughs> pull the phone out. Um, she did the, the hook for Candy Shop. I think it's in Candy Shop. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What it takes and what I got. Yeah, I know that song, but I don't. I don't remember who Olivia is. I mean, oh. she looks very different. But this is what she looked like back in the day. I don't remember her. What? Yeah, yeah. I can't believe you don't remember her. But that was the thing. It was like, yo, that's a that's not a woman. That's a man. Yeah, I think they said that about a lot of people. I think they said that about uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, didn't they? Uh, no. Maybe? I don't, I, don't know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. But I know like with Jamie Lee Curtis, she had to get, I think she had to get like breast reduction or something like that because she was so uncomfortable with her boobs and why well, she had big, apparently she had thangs on her. Mm. I only remember Jamie Lee Curtis from, uh, uh, not Con Air. What's that move? True Lies. True Lies. Yeah. Do it. Do it slow. <laughs> God, I love that movie. <laughs> oh man. You know what I watched recently? The fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger prank phone calls the pizza place. Arnold Schwarzenegger's pizza place. If you want something crazy like pineapple, I'll break all through. <laughs> People don't know that. He's like, maybe I'll get you pepperoni or maybe I'll staple it. Dude, <laughs> if there are there are certain videos and like things from the internet that are like at the base of like humor on the internet, that's one of them. Yeah. That's one of them. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, go Google Arnold uh, Arnold's Pizza Shop. Hello, welcome to Arnold's Pizza Shop. What do you think is the video... That, like, in that category is, like, the OG. Like, everyone should, like, knew this video and, like, whatever. It's going to be really fucked up because it's clearly very dated. And it is not. But at the time, it was everywhere. Was the ding fries are done. Oh, my God, yes. You remember? Wow, that is so racist looking back. Uh, it's also, like, Oh, not up. racist. It's it was up against, like, uh, against, like, people with mentally, uh, mentally oh uh, mental disabilities. Yeah, and it was, so for those of you guys that don't know, it was um, an obvious uh, character, you know, uh, like in, ex- inflated fucking version. I don't even know what you're talking about. It was an inflated version of what people f- expressed. It was like someone who had Down syndrome. Yes, but it was a very, like, it was over the top. Yeah. And they were singing about, it was like the... Um, like a, a taking order at a McDonald's. At a Burger King. Oh, a Burger King. I work at Burger King making paper whoppers. I, I wear, wear paper, paper hats. hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? But it, they did it and it, it was and really, really offensive. And really offensive. But that was one of them. But the one I was thinking of is End of Z World. End of Z World was... That's a big one. There's also the Super Mario Bros. Do you remember that one? Yes. I feel like those videos, like, everyone knows them. Everyone knows them. They're they're like... But not the younger... I feel like we were the youngest you could possibly be. Like, yeah, I don't because... Think people younger than this would know what that is. No, 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 no. Like, if you if you remember FunnyJunk.com and, and yeah. E-Bombs World, then yeah. you know what we're talking about. Right, right, if you right, don't right. know either of those places or things... No idea. Like, oh, the Numa Numa video huge that was that uh, apparently ruined that kid's life why yeah apparently he was like yo i got bullied because people saw the video and instead of being like yo this is hilarious they were like yo look at this fat piece of shit wow and he got bullied because he was a heavier boy meanwhile if that happened in this day and age this kid would have a tiktok career and he'd be making millions oh he'd be on every doritos commercial ever oh yeah are you kidding me this guy would have been a bajillionaire yeah but it's unfortunate. Sign of the times. Numa Numa. Uh, I think that's one of the... And then the Star Wars kid. You mm. don't remember that one? The, the kid in the garage with the uh, lightsabers? No. Oh, yeah. That was a big one. It was parodied by Arrested Development. I don't know. But, you know, it's it's good old internet being soups offense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I've been watching that documentary on uh, QAnon on HBO Max. I'm not going to get too much into it mm-hmm. because I don't want to... Stray. Yeah. Um, 
But it, I, I, I started watching it like, yo, I'll find out more about QAnon. I just found out how fucking off, like it just solidified. Like the internet is the biggest piece of shit on the planet. <laughs> it's not good. Like, yo, it's everything and anything that you, any issue you have with the internet and reason you hate it, watch that documentary and it'll like be validated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get to these uh, ads. Let's say sponsors. So they're also sponsors. Uh, but let's get to the ads. Uh, today we, we're starting off with BetterHelp, which is online counseling. Okay, if you want to talk to a therapist, you want to talk to a licensed professional that's going to help you through, you know, uh, you know, they're, they specialize in like depression, relationship drama, or anxiety, or any of these things, and you wanted to dip your toe into the, the therapy world, you can start with BetterHelp. They help you uh, start communicating with a the therapist in under 48 hours. They also make it very seamless to find the right counselor. Um, but yeah, so go check out BetterHelp. Um, that's B E T T E R H E L P dot com. Um, if you go to betterhelp.com slash yard, you will get uh, 10% off of your first month um, by using our code. Uh, so yeah, BetterHelp, uh, the Basement Yard listeners, you get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash yard. Uh, yeah, but definitely check it out. Um, all right, next here we have Liquid IV. Uh, Liquid IV has a hydration multiplier plus immune support. Uh, it's a cutting edge blend of vitamin C, zinc, and Wellmune. Uh, in a convenient single-serving packet to help strengthen your immune system. Uh, I've had liquid IV for years now. It, it's in my cabinet, and whenever I feel like I didn't drink enough water that day, or if I sweat a lot, or you know, or if I'm a little hungover, I'll take one of these liquid IVs, and it kind of makes me feel like I'm replenished again. It like puts you know all the things you need into your body. Uh, but yeah, like you, like I just read, they also have like immune support, and they have um, they also have like a burst of energy one. Uh, that's kind of like the equivalent of having like a cup of coffee and it's great. Uh, so go check out uh, liquid IV, um, get your hydration multiplier plus immune support in bulk at Costco or order online and get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout. Uh, it's fucking awesome. I love it. Uh, it's great. So just go check it out. 25% off, uh, when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout. So go do that. LiquidIV.com, code is BASEMENT, check it out. Uh, next here we have uh, MVMT. Uh, MVMT, I was actually shopping on their site the other day. Uh, MVMT has expanded into blue light glasses that protect your eyes from screens. Uh, they have minimalist jewelry uh, and more stylish essentials that don't break, uh, all designed out of their California headquarters. Um, I do have a pair of their uh, blue light glasses because I watch TV at night with the lights off, which is like the worst thing you can do apparently. So I use those uh, to watch TV at night. Um, also, if you're on your phone at night, it's good to wear, the, uh, wear them. Or if you're staring at a screen, blue light glasses are only going to help you. It's going to make your eyes feel less strained and it's like just better. You sleep better without all that stuff in your eyes. Um, but yeah, they have watches also that have the look and quality of a 400 to $500 watch. Um, and you're paying just a fraction of that. Um, and they're great. I have a, a couple of MVMT watches and I have their uh, blue light glasses and I was actually shopping on their site uh, for uh, sunglasses, but I didn't make a decision, but I'm going to have to. Um, but anyway, you can join the movement uh, and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash basement. That's mvmt.com slash basement for 15% off. Uh, definitely go check them out. They have a lot of cool stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, next here, lastly, we have HelloFresh. All right, HelloFresh, you get uh, fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth warning mouth watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. So this is great. You want to start cooking. You don't know what to cook. You can get these really cool recipes. They show up to your door, all pre-packaged, pre-portioned, and you just make it. You follow the steps that they give you. And then you can even keep that thing and you have a little recipe now. Now you know what to cook. You know, if you're, if you're just getting into cooking or you just moved out or something like that, this is a great way to do that. And it's affordable. Um, but it's great. It's, it's like you learn new recipes along the way and maybe you add a little something like this and that and you, you know, put your own little spin to it. Um, but it's great. Over five, over four in five HelloFresh customers say HelloFresh helps them lead a healthier lifestyle with delicious, low calorie, carb smart, and vegetarian options available each week. Um, you get better value. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local, local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. So it's also a cost efficient way uh, to eat. So definitely go check out um, HelloFresh, uh, hellofresh.com slash basement12. Uh, use the code basement12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping, okay? HelloFresh.com slash basement12. 
and use the code BASEMENT12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. All right? There you go. That is great. 12 free meals, that's a lot. That's four days, baby. If, if you do three meals a day. But you getting a phone call? No, why? What are you doing? I thought you were getting a phone call. Why? I heard like a... Mm, mm, mm. Might have been a bus. Oh. Might have been a bus. I don't know. All right. Joey. Yes. Uh, something that we watched before that we said we were going to talk on the show. Uh, talk about on the show. Apparently, we're approaching... White Boy Summer. Oh, yeah. We're approaching White Boy Summer. White Boy Summer's in full effect, I think. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, Chet Hanks, uh, who... The son. The son of Tom Hanks? Which I know it's, it's still surprising. Yeah. You know, it's like the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. The Lord gave us Tom Hanks, America's dad. If you believe in certain, certain conspiracies, drinking blood from babies. Is that what they're doing? Apparently, in like the basement of like a pizza place in D.C., and then the Lord taketh and gave us his son. Uh, okay. Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks. Yeah, with an X. Uh, Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. So Chet Hanks uh, declared that it's white boy summer. Um, and he also had, he had some rules, too. Yeah. Because not just any white boys. But hold on. This is the thing. Isn't, hasn't every summer been white boy summer? If any race and gender is going to get the summer, it's going to be white boys. You heard this? You hear him, guys? You I know. mean, it's. It, I'm not agreeing with it. <laughs> they would probably take it and then call it discovering land. Oh my god! <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Oh my god! No. But like, if you had to assign a certain type of people to, let's get stereotypical. Let's do it. We have four seasons, right? Well, yeah. What's a solstice? The solstice. It's like the like the it's basically a time of the year. It's like something to do with like the like the equator and moon and shit like that and the sun. You could have just said you don't know. No, I do. Summer there's only two solstices. It's summer and winter solstices. <laughs> solstice. And I think about it, sol S O L is like part of the word for Solar. Like the sol, yeah, sun. And it has to do with like when What about where the, stis? Stis. I think it's like a time. Okay. Sun time. Sun, sun time. <laughs> Winter time. Well, I, I do know I do know from what I remember in earth science is when it's our summer solstice, it's when we're technically we're getting the most direct sunlight. That's why it's longer or something like that because the earth, in, in addition to rotating and, and revolving, it tilts like this mm-hmm. during the year. So when we're, since we're in the northern hemisphere and this is the sun, it tilts like that. So we get the most direct sunlight. And then when it's in the winter, it's like that. Gotcha. Okay. But um, spring. Who's got the spring? The the middle. The equator. Bro, spring and fall. I'm talking about the people. Oh. And what do white people get? White, well, besides I think, everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think white women take the fall. That's pretty clear. Oh, yeah. White women. They like own, pumpkin shit. You own fall. Pumpkin, pumpkin pick, pick, pick a tapa. Pumpkin picking, apple picking, uh, flannel. Flannels, pumpkin spice. Uh, uh, large, large hoodies. Those, like, yeah, those like blanket. It looked like a blanket that they're yeah. wearing. Yeah. Uh, Uggs. Uh, dude. Uggs. Big Uggs. Big yeah. Ugg girls. Uh, black leggings. Oh, oh, uh, uh, photo shoots in the leaves. Oh. Yeah, white girls own, yeah. the, own the Which I see those, and by the way, I just think that's Tick City, baby. You better hope that you don't get lines when you're walking away yeah, from Yeah, my that. dog's pissed on mad leaves. Yeah, don't do that. There are, like, animals that live in those, too, to, like, stay warm. Yeah. You might jump in with a possum. Yeah. Um, but I was going to say fucking... Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Damn it. You son of a bitch. The women... White women have fall. Oh, fall or autumn? Fall. Because I don't have brown hair. Do you think people with brown hair say autumn? Dude, people with brown hair love Autumn's to say kind of pretentious. Autumn. Why do we have two names for one of these? The, the, just just leave it in fall. I'm sure there's a scientific reason. Fuck it. Yeah, it's it's called fall. The fall. So white women white women have the fall. They yeah. can take that. If they have anything, give them that. Who gets the winter? <sighs> Man. Uh I think if 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 the ri- there's I'm, no way that white people get the warmer Seasons. Uh, yeah, no. I'm gonna say that. 
I'm not going to go with a, a, a race and gender here. I'm going to say the rich get the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because they could either live in it and bask in fucking glory, giant ass fucking houses with Ski fireplaces. Ha- yeah. Wow, yeah. And hot cocoa. And like rugs that are made out of an animal. Yes. That's or, ex- extinct. Or they just escape it. Yeah. And they don't need to do it. They get on a boat. Yeah. Notice how the snow is always prettier when you have money. That's a great point. Right? Yeah. You know, when you got to get your ass up and trek through it to go to work, it's fucking miserable. But when, you have, when you're rich like you, <laughs> you just bask in the snow. So I'm going to say the fall is the white women. Mm-hmm. Winter is for the rich. All right. So then we have spring and summer. So spring, spring's a tough one. Spring's a tough one. Spring is tough. Spring might be for everybody. I think spring is interchangeable because it's it could be a little cold still. It could be warmer. It could be in the middle. There could be a lot of rain. April showers, May flowers. Is that true? Yeah. Look at these showers today. Where's the flowers? They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. But yeah. summer, and I could say this, it's for the Hispanics. Without a doubt. <laughs> It is. Because you go to the park, dude. At least in New York. These are all New York uh, answers, by yeah, the way. Yeah, but I don't care about what, what also, it's like. Also, we in, don't know. In fucking Boise. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want I have never seen, specifically, I would say Mexican people. I've never seen them like... How do you know they're Mexican, Joey? You just do. Oh, get them. You just do. They could be El Salvadorian. They could be Ecuadorian. They could be from anywhere. Yeah. I will just go and, and use an umbrella and say the Hispanic community. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. <laughs> they love... They're all about the summer. They're all about volleyball. Have you been in... Uh, you when During the summer, when, when will you say are the times when you're indoors? Bars... I mean, not recently because of the, you know, corona. Yeah, so like, wait, okay, bars and... What, uh, what other times are you indoors? Restaurants sometimes? Yeah. Honestly, have you ever during the summer seen Hispanic people inside? Big outdoor people. Big outdoor people. They don't, they don't stay inside. Yeah. They're, they're, like, they're like cicadas. Once it's time, they're out. <laughs> Oh my They're god! Fucking, and then they go. Thank they, God you said that. I know. I could say it because I, I would just uh, soy colombiano, papi Yeah, it's um um. They they also like for whatever reason are like communicate very well with each other because there's always like there's always twenty like whenever I go to the park there's twenty of them playing like volleyball and it's like how did you go like I can't get five of my friends to do anything. Yeah, I that, every day that's, that's they're true. like. You have a group chat with 60 people, and it'll be like, yo, we're all going to the park to show up. Yeah. I, 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 I'm with you on that one. I, or they I, get like a full soccer game. Like, dude, I can't get any of my friends to play basketball or yeah. play soccer or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Hispanic, they, we know how to communicate. I we need, know how to communicate, and I'll tell you why. Outdoorsy, too. We're, we, all, we all know that the white man's trying to break us up, so let's all just stay together all the time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But I'll tell you this, it's definitely not white boy summer. Yeah, no, dude, we burn in the sun. Look at you guys. Yeah, look at me. Look at you. You think this man likes the summer? I, the, I, I you, do like the summer. You like it because you get but to it's drink not, outside. But it's not mine. You like it because you can get away with being a drunk idiot in public. Well, I mean, it's, you can. I like, I like the warm sun. But like Chet Hanks out here saying, and he, what did he say? He's like, oh, this is not for... This is for like the Jack Harlows. Yeah. You know, the, who else did he name? Do you remember anyone John else? John B. I don't know who that is. Well, it's, and then he named himself. And then he named himself. These are the pioneers, I guess. Uh, he also had rules, which I did write down. I yeah, know. he's like, these are the rules and regulations for Rule white number boys one for Chet Hanks' white boy summer. Yeah. No plaid shirts. Frank's very upset. By I that. don't wear a lot of, well, I don't I, have any plaid. That's true. I have like two. You have more than me. Uh, two. That's still more than zero. I agree. So no plaid shirts, boys. Uh, yeah. White white boys in particular. Listen, white boys, no plaid shirts. I guess now he be- also said you either wear like a plain white shirt or a black shirt. That's what he said. Which, uh, you know, okay, okay. I he did not talk about Hawaiian shirts, so we're safe there. I w- I would I would bet that house on that those are not acceptable for white boy summer. <laughs> for white boy summer, Chet Hanks doesn't approve. No way he would. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So then, what about? 
What about black boys? What about uh, Hispanic boys? What about Asian boys? Are they allowed to wear plaid shirts? I, I assume. He's making the rules. He's he said make, white he, boys. He's making it. So, Joey, if I see you with a plaid shirt in the summer, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling Chet. Okay? He also said, now this one felt a bit of an attack on me. No Sperry topsiders. Yeah. That's, that well, one hurts. That's where Frankie lives. That's, that's, his, <laughs> that's his spot. Sperry's are the ultimate shoe. They're comfortable. Now we're getting a little insane. They're comfortable. They could be worn in any weather. They're kind of breathable. And you can wear them with socks and or without. You get out the water. Sperry's on, baby. Yeah. Oh, you're in the sand? Sperry's on. They're the ultimate <laughs> summer shoe. Oh, you're in the sand? Do you own any Sperry's? Uh, I used to. I don't know. Damn, we got to get you back on that Sperry train, babe. Yeah. I got to buy myself some more Sperry's. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm not allowed. Why not? Oh, just, well, during the summer, you're not allowed. Yeah, I'll wait. You to, can wear them outside the summer. I'm going to wait until fall. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, that one hurt. Uh, this one had me dying laughing. Rule number three, white boy summer. No calling girls smoke shows. <laughs> oh, she's a fucking smoke show. Which that you, is that is super. That is white. That is very plaid white. That's very. That's very. I'll tell you this. Sperry plaid white. Sperry plaid white. But it's also very college. Yeah. I don't think outside of college I called a, a woman a smoke show. I, I the do second it, I graduated, I was like, she's beautiful. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I do that like I like fun like to be funny like oh. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Is that you do it to make fun of people. Yeah, I'm not like dead serious like, no, 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 dude. She's a show of smoke. And yeah, why is a smoke show a good thing? I don't really know. Smoke? Have you ever been... What is a smoke show? I, I No, I don't know. Is it like, you know, like they do like laser shows? Do they do it with like smoke? I'd go see it. I'd... <laughs> The Blue Man Group or something? Blue I don't Man know. Group doing smoke? You ever been to Blue Man Group? No, I'd love to, though. I be, I went. It's good? It was kind of cool. Yeah. A lot of paint. A lot of paint, I hear. A ton of paint. A lot of PVC pipe, I hear, as well. Oh, I mean, it's all PVC, <laughs> baby. <laughs> it's all PVC. It's exclusively PVC. It's a lot of plumbing. I, I bet. I yeah. bet. Um, so, uh, that one, that one, I think, is a little, a little mean as well. There's another one I remember. No Vineyard Vines. Did he say no vineyard vines? Hey, yeah, he did. That one hurts. I, I, yeah. I love vineyard vines. I don't think I have anything from there. I don't either because I'm, I'll tell you this, don't have the ability to afford it. Very expensive. Dude, one time. Do we, you remember when we went to the outlets before Vegas? Dude, I picked up a tie. He's like, that'll be uh, 82. I was like, that'll be back on your rack. Yeah. <laughs> I remember we were looking through, we specifically went to look at their bathing suits because I will say them and free plug here also for chubbies, great bathing suits. I just bought some chubbies. Did you? I'm, I'm going to have to buy me some chubbies. Also, because your boy, just like the brand, has gotten a little chubby. A little chubby. I, I was only... A, that hurt. Joe. I was trying to just be on your team. That really hurt. Um, Vineyard Vines is a good place, man. But it's expensive. Yeah. I knew a kid that had a Vineyard Vine shirt and every... like, You know how like shirts are like, they're like the breasts, the bottom part, the back, and then the top part? Every part was a different color. And it was like pastel yellow, pastel blue, pastel orange, pastel green. Did you beat him up? I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to so bad. He would have deserved it, I think. He was heavier, though, so I would have been in charge, like in trouble. Not in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been in charge. I mean, I would have been in charge. But yeah, I mean. I would have been in trouble. I would have been in charge. <laughs> and then his last, the last one he had here was burn all salmon colored clothes. <laughs> Why did did white boys do that? They love salmon, salmon colored. I mean, that is. Do white dudes love running away with the pink sometimes? Salmon colored pants, Sperry's with tube socks, and a and a plaid shirt, long sleeve in the summer. That's a white. That's a white. That's a, yeah. That's that is a, a white outfit, right? I'm gonna there. call my dad kind of white. Oh my god! Do you know who my father is? Type of white. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, and his father doesn't even know who he is. So in a company uh, accompanying these rules was a music video. Oh, yeah, he put out a song called White Boy Summer. A lot of shaking butts. A lot, a lot of shaking butts. He was also dressed, like, very weirdly. I mean, he, I feel like he had basketball shorts on, and he was shirtless the whole time, wasn't he? No, there was a, there was a scene where he was he was dressed like a, a, like a cholo. Was he? Yeah. Oh. The fucking, he had, like, a the brown shirt opened, the button down. Oh, like the top white. button open? Yeah, oh. yeah. And then, like, the, the vans with the socks... 
Oh no! It's like yo, you're like, what do you? We know what you're doing here. Really? Yeah. My favorite was where he when he wore the shirt that said "Stop Hate." Yeah. So fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, there is hate out there, and we want to stop it. Uh, listen, I get it. I get it. We all want to stop shirt. it. He had another shirt. Oh, he was selling merch too at the end. Yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That said "White Boy Summer," and then one said "All Praises," "All Praise," something like that. High praise. There was also one that said "Black Queen Summer." I saw that. So who's the summer going to? Well, there's gonna be a there's there's gonna be a, a battle, or there's gonna be a compromise. I hope there's not a battle between the whites and the and the blacks because that might be a little too real. Yeah, I don't want to. No, I'm not going down that path. <laughs> <laughs> I just I this is this is one of my favorite and least favorite things about celebrities, and I know we spoke about this with like the Imagine video. It's like oh. they have like I know his mind is to bring people together. Maybe not anyone but white boys, but like with the <laughs> stop hate shirt. Like I get, I get, I get. It's meant to be like a, like a, yeah. Let's stop, let's stop hate, man. I want to really stop hate out there. But it is so fucking stupid, because it's like, in what world do you think a shirt that says "Stop Hate" is going to do anything? I, I, I don't know. The hater, the hater merch stuff, like, it makes me hate more. Right? You know, no one sees something that says like "Stop Hate" or the ones that say "Coexist." Let me just let me just say this. If I see a car drive by, right, regular license plate, I don't even nothing happens to me. Don't even see the driver. But if a car drives by and I don't see the driver, I see nothing. But the license plate says "Hi hater," I hate that man. Yeah, you know like, what I mean. Yeah, okay. Hello to you too. Yeah, hello, hello. You have made you have made me one. That's that I am is a hater now. That is manifest destiny right there. You yeah. are you are manifesting it. Yeah, good well, job. I just, I hate that. I hate that so much. If you're going to wear a shirt that says stop hate, you're starting hate because I hate you. Yeah. Well, it should be like contain hate just for me because I'm wearing the shirt. Per- just for that person. Just because I'm wearing the shirt. It's just a contain hate. Contain it. I love everyone around you. Because they're not wearing that shirt. You? You ruined it. I hate yeah, you. Exactly. Uh, the music video... Uh, was interesting. The song wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The beat was was on point. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't believe that's Tom Hanks' son. Isn't it weird? The apple falls fell so far from the tree. You know, Tom Hanks is a is a is exactly what he's not allowing this summer. Chet Hanks is saying like these these are the rules well, by summer. I don't, His I don't dad know. is is a plaid shirt. Sperry's white. I, yeah, I, w- I would say I would say so. I just, it's just so funny to me. Like, how is that Tom Hanks is and is 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 uh, Rita Wilson, um, the mom, Howard, <laughs> her from Jingle All the Way? I I I couldn't tell you. You like you know when you look at someone and you're like, that's just a phase. They'll grow out of it. What happened to Chet? Chet's, Chet's been out here. He was also draped in a Jamaican flag at one point. Yeah. What? Actually, not at one point. I got like seven points. And then he, like, at one point, he's like, white boy summer, white boy summer, and then just busts out into, bah, bah, you're like, just starts yeah, like, like, doing, whoa. whoa. Guy. <laughs> Chill, slow down. What's going man. on here? Is no one telling him to stop this? Yeah, I don't think, I, yeah. I How think did the conversation with his dad go? I'll be, who do you want me to be? Oh, I'm definitely being Tom Hanks because I'm not touching that one. We're <laughs> <pull it. laughs> like, no. What? Why are you shaking? I'm doing my Tom Hanks impression. Go ahead. Hello, son. Why are you shaking? I, I assume he's a shaky guy. You're kind of like, what's his name? Who am I thinking of? Oh, God. Harry Carey? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, the other day, the Cubs. Yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 you know, it's a, it's a heavy video. I encourage everyone to go watch it, though, White Boy Summer. For some reason, it only had 16,000 views on it. I was astounded by that. Yeah, he said he was uh, shadow banned. By YouTube? By YouTube. For what? For being Chet Hanks. For stopping hate. You can't call a song White Boy Summer and not expect to get in trouble for it. Why? Call it like Everyone Summer. This is going to be a, a, an Everyone Summer. Yeah, but it's that not. That works. But he's, but he's saying exactly it's not going to be that. But that's why you should get shadow banned because you're promoting white supremacy. Well, this is a stretch. <laughs> I don't know. Think about it. If I release a song... That was like, yo, this summer. I don't summer, think there was a single white person in just it. The, except for him. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, 
if I release a song, it was like, yo, only white boys this summer. Yo, you want to hang out? Guess what it's going to be? A white boy summer. But, but that's not what he means. What is he saying then? I think that he just thinks that they're going to be winning. What have they been losing? I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't really know where the competition lies. I just, I just know that's what he means. But, like, this is the thing. You know, actually... Hold on. I'm going to back up a little bit. I don't want to get too political here, but it's like the way that people discuss, maybe it's the, maybe he's trying to get it across the way that people discuss like the Black Lives Matter movement. You, I'm going to, I'm going to stop you now because you've gone too far. But listen, no, because what people are in, like the Black Lives Matter, uh, Black Lives Matter movement is not saying Black Lives Matter more. They're not saying Black Lives are the only one that matter. They're saying <laughs> we also matter. Right. So maybe Chet Hanks is trying to say no, no. You're making a comparison that is so f like, yep. it's Chet Hanks. Mm -hmm. He's not making. He's the only thing he is saying. He doesn't have it in him to make that like political. No, fucking... there isn't. A, there isn't a political agenda. It's just him being like, "Yo, white boys," in a Jamaican accent. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bad look. Well, I, I have no idea how it is going to be received. It's pretty new to my understanding, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm not quite sure how it is. I haven't seen the internet on this yet, uh, so I can't really speak for how they're receiving it. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it's... I, I, I don't know if it will. I'm sorry, Chet. Uh, I, I don't... I, you might be mistaken. <laughs> And listen, I'm yeah. on your side, kind of, but like... Listen. I don't know. I am right on the middle in this one. I am not... I don't think... I'm not taking a side. I'm not that far off. If you're just sitting there saying, you know, like, white boy summer, why can't it be a summer for everybody? It's been a rough year for everyone, let's be honest. Yeah. So, like, make it like an, an all-inclusive summer. That'd be a better song. I'll take, a, I'll take any summer. Hey, man, it's an inclusive summer. Yeah. That has a ring to it. it well, no. We can make a rap out of that right now. No, we can't. Hey, man, it's been an inclusive summer. We all know the last year's been a bummer. I'm here, and I'm driving in a Hummer, and I'll do this right now, and I'll make your inclusive summer. Where can they find you, Frank? <laughs> oh, That's how you're going to allow me to end the show? Well, that's I, I, you want to end on a high note, usually, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> M. Alvarez 805 on Twitter and on Twitch. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Coming out with me on Twitch. And uh, check me out. I'm a competitor for the Usual Suspects Movie Trivia Schmodown. Uh, go check it out. Uh, yeah, and you guys can find me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on yeah. TikTok and Instagram. And uh, shout out to our patrons. Paint. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard to get every episode a week in advance. And you also get an extra episode every single week on Fridays. And uh, yeah, that is all. See you guys next time.